No way. That's what it was. There's a hole. There's a hole right here. Son of a bitch. So yeah, we were about to go to the poison halls, but I... I I've been agonizing over this a little bit, and I wanted to come back. Uh oh. Dodging. Hello. Oop. Awkward. I just, I had to come back again, because it was still bothering me. It's weird that it's not listed as a secret. Does that mean it's a mega secret? Is there even cooler shit in here? Do I have to worry about the fact that I've been missing secrets all along? Huh. Breakthrough. I've made a breakthrough and just and decoded some basic words in the Arias. The core is singing to me. I now understand what it wants, what it feels. We must do whatever it takes to follow its lead. It's way beyond our intelligence and comprehension of reality. It can take us to places we've never even dreamed of. But nobody understands. Those fools just won't listen. And they think I'm the crazy one here. My last hope is to approach Laura Reich, the head substance researcher who seems to be intrigued by my findings. Maybe her influence can sway opinions and give my research some credibility. Liam Howe, and that's the last we heard of him. Battered Warhammer, 64 damage. This does 68 damage. I have no reason to use it, right? Yeah, Ram is just better. Not even counting the actual effects that it has on top of that. So you're gonna stay here, goodbye. I wonder. This wasn't listed as a secret. It says you're done with the secrets before you get here, which makes me curious. Because that, that's genuinely new. There's a hole in the grate that allows you to, to, to uh, put, a, put a brick there. That is unusual. That's new. I wonder if there's an entire second layer of secrets that's not even listed as secrets in the game that are even harder secrets. Or if they just didn't think to label it as a secret. Like they kind of skipped past it and didn't notice. I don't know. It has me simultaneously paranoid or and confused as to whether or not it's like an error or if there's a bunch of other clever secrets I'm missing the whole time. And I want to find them, but it's really... I have no idea what I'm missing. I will say that I have somewhat mixed feelings about the secrets in this game so far. Uh, I prefer it when there's like a puzzle or a riddle or something. Like, uh, I, th I think of in Grimrock, there's parts where, like, there's the part where, you, like, you find a hallway that has three pedestals, and there's a clue on each pedestal, and you put a fitting object on each pedestal that matches the clue, and then the thing opens, and you get stuff, and you probably get ambushed by monsters and get a reward. And a, a series of things like that will happen, or like the, uh, was it the, the Path of the Eagle was one of those, too? And you'd also just find notes that are refer that are arcane references to secrets and stuff like that. Uh... I don't think that the notes I find in this game and the audio logs and stuff like that, I think they're usually not any kind of direct reference to a secret. I think there was like one on the first floor, but generally it's all lore building and story building. It'd be nice if they talk about like, I stashed this thi- like I, I didn't know what to do so I stashed my notes in this weird alcove and stuff like that, like they like reference like a location. Because there's two types of secrets in this game largely, and neither of which are really clue related. The two secrets are generally that, uh, they put one secret, uh, will be in a, in a hazard, which I actually like that secret. When they're like, here's a really dangerous thing, by the way, in the middle of that dangerous zone that you're conditioned to try to run through to, to be safe, there was secretly a, a secret there the whole time. Like, that's, that's a fitting secret. Uh, but the other type of secret, where it's just like a random button on a random alcove in a random direction, like, that, those are a little, like... You, you're just kind of pixel hunting for the entire map until the, until the game says that you found them all, which is a little less exciting. Okay, now we're back on track with the poisoned halls. Should I be taking a hint here? I mean, I already have the other elements equipped, so it's not really a big deal. I was just thinking, like, I better not be relying on poison when I get here, because the, it's the poisoned halls. How many secrets? One. Interesting. The number of secrets per floor is trending down. Part of me wonders if the game might have peaked with the Riddle of Steel. Because the Riddle of Steel and whatever the other floor was that was attached to it, I forgot its name, uh, the boiler area, 
Actually, it might have been called the boiler. Uh, those those two floors, like that, that that was like some really inspired stuff as far as like level design and exploration goes. Whereas the last floor I was on felt weird. It stinks in here. This gas can't be healthy. I couldn't help but feel like the last floor I did was a little like brief and labyrinthine, and I kind of was like fumbling in the dark, not really. Appreciating where I was half the time. Which is a little a bit of a surprise after like the the like joint floor combination like intricate sort thing that had happened before. Yeah, that place looks like a mess. Hello. I don't remember the Bureau ever authorizing this kind of research. But then again, can I still trust my own memory? Poisonous gas made from fumium. Is there any way in which this substance can't be abused? How do you know it's poison gas? Maybe it just smells bad. What? Uh... Okay. Well, the answer appears to be no. <laughs> This is useless. I'm not getting in this way. I need to find the combination for this device. That's what I figured. It's like we need we need to find some kind of clue. And at first I thought it was a puzzle, and then I realized that it did uh it was not lights out. <laughs> I briefly thought, oh no, did lights out show in the, show up in this game? And I'm thankfully wrong. That's just kind of embarrassing when that comes up. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that was the wrong button to use. Oh, I'm trapped. That's bad. Okay, you need to back up. With your nonsense. Nope. Nope, ass is bad. Could you, uh, not, maybe? I mean, thanks for the heal. There we go. Uh, uh, no, no. Okay, we're fine. Never happy when doors start opening in all directions around me, because you never know what the doors have behind them. Now it feels like a challenge. Like, will I find the one secret on this floor before I beat the floor? <laughs> There's only one. But that's a lot of... That's potentially a lot of map to search for one secret on. Also raises the question of whether or not this is going to be a joint floor. Like, is this going to be a, t a combination floor of two floors again? Because that might explain why there's only one secret on this one, if this... Maybe this one's a little briefer. Oh, cool. Holes. I'm sure I won't have to navigate around those while fighting. I'm trapped. I'm going to die now. There we go. Oh, he like wandered off. I wasn't even trapped anymore. Uh. I mean, thanks for the heals. Oh no. There's another one. I'm just gonna wander off for a bit, if you don't mind. That was a good dodge, on accident. Howdy do, neighbor. Oh. Nope. Whoopsie. I'm sure he's fine. Please die. <laughs> These are supposed to be lethal hits. Please be lethal. Huh? Burn for me? Nope. There we go. How we doing on it? Nope. Not that close to leveling. Huh? Hi. Oh. Trying to- there we go. Trying to avoid the directions that the, uh, acid was in. 
That guy died very quickly, so he was probably the one I was fighting first, and the one that, I, that chased me in this room first that took a while to kill is probably the new addition to the fight. That showed up later. Hello, weird grate. You pointed to a room I don't, I don't have access to. But why are you a grate? I wonder at times why grates exist. I think sometimes they exist just to help you help show you that other rooms exist without letting you into them. So that you know, based on looking at your map, that like you're not done exploring, for example. God, the one seeker could be anywhere. Uh... Chest? I like chests. That's the best use of a grate, is just to show you, hey, there's a chest over here. How are you gonna get to it? Wouldn't you like to know? It's like, yes, I would like to know. Secret! Fuck! What? Why would you do that? What? That's such a dick move. I'm all like, I found the one secret, look at that little thing, and fucking... Oh. Um, okay. I, I, I had the map in. Uh... Okay. So it's not triggered by pressing the button. I was gonna go to the next tile over and see if I could press the button from there. Do I have to run for it? They all do that. Does this one do it? This one doesn't do it. What a dick move. Okay. Veteran buckler light shield. Get the ammo in there. Get the key in there. Use the key. Let's see. Veteran buckler. Let's compare these. 30, 36, 60, 30, 28, 45. Oh, geez. Well, this one has 75% retaliation damage, while this one just makes you hard to kill. Which one gives me more health? I actually don't know. It's because it's a 5% multiplier. Okay. So the 60 is worth more health overall. It gives you, uh, like 15 more health than I have right now. But the main benefit, the main cost seems to be, do I want eight more block or do I want 75% retaliation? I'm not super certain, honestly. More block is good because it heals you. Uh, not, well, it makes you, it, it, it preserves your health so you don't have to heal. But the, uh, the other thing, I don't know. Someone indecisive about that one. I'll hold on, to, hold on to it for a bit, see if I change my mind. So this is the Superior Discharger. Okay. 40, 5, 50. 66, uh, 50. The, the effect of, uh... The effect the shock has on your enemy's damage does not seem to change, ever. But this one does 20 more damage. And the effect of the reduced health is longer. It costs more, of course. I mean, I think I'll just stick with my current strategy of getting with this, going with the superior ones. Even though it does burn through my uh, energy faster, of course. I haven't been able to find Sophie since the whole incident. She witnessed it all, and I'm sure she must be confused. Even without words, we both know what the other one is thinking or feeling. I feel her fear and distrust now. I must find her. She's the key to everything. With all my research assistants gone, I've come up with a new way to keep the projects going. One of my secret projects is proving very helpful with this. The beginning, when I still had to keep it a secret, was difficult. A simple Fumium amplifier strapped onto a dead but preserved body allowed the Fumium substance to infiltrate and take control of the organism. The first... remains. They only could produce manual output and grew physically due to the infestation. 
Later on, I managed to create competent and obedient servants using the bodies of my former closest assistants by putting them to sleep and then applying the amplifiers. I think it was their disappearances that raised suspicion, ultimately leading to the revolt. I no longer feel pity for what happened. There are no annoying distractions left to hinder my progress. Finally. Okay, so, uh, she's a monster. Pretty straightforward. There it is. So what I was watching it go back and forth while I was listening to the audio log, and I realized what I need to do is chase the the doors while they're closing and press the button then. So I found the one secret. Challenge... Challenge one. <laughs> uh... Tech combat. I was... Fumium key. I need a silver key, and I found a Fumium and a Rusty. Go figure. Yeah, I was wondering whether or not I'd be able to find the solution for the one puzzle, I mean the one secret on this floor, before finishing the floor itself. It's comparatively a little disappointing to be like, oh, I, I beat the floor and then and I scraped up and down walls for 20 minutes and that's how I found it, as opposed to be like, oh, I found it the first time. Good job. Tech and combat are up. I'll take anything I can, and the Fumium key goes somewhere. Apparently. Wait, did it go there? I need a key. Rusty key goes here, actually. Okay. I have not been attacked. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Hello. Thank you. We're just getting that part out of the way. I should not be going this way, probably. <laughs> no. Shame. Ooh, that damage. Nice. There we go. Clear. Probably, nope. Not that close to leveling up. It goes slower now, as per how usually leveling works. Uh, let's finish poking around the room before I open more doors. I can go kind of fast now, because I supposedly the secrets are found. Unless there's a super mega secret hiding somewhere, but uh, we'll see about those. My earlier rant about secrets was a little poorly placed because it was placed after what was actually a good puzzle, of course. Which is the the moment of like, Oh, you can't push that thing onto the button like you thought you would, fuck. Okay. Just to finish the thought, uh... There was a hole in the wall and you used that to press the button. Like, that's, that's actually good. I actually wish the game had more secrets like that. Because it's like, oh, here's an obvious problem and then you need to solve it. And I'm, saying the, I'm not saying that the solution, like, the solution is not the obvious part, the problem is the obvious part, because you have a button you want to press and you don't know how. Uh, many of the other secrets instead are in the form of, like, hey, where'd they hide the secret? Ooh, it could be anywhere. And you, you then poke up and down this gargantuan environment for, like, half an hour trying to find where they put the secret, and that, that's, like, disappointing by comparison. I prefer it when I see the problem and then have a solution to find. So I did, I did that rant discussion thing after a good puzzle, and so the point wasn't to criticize that exact puzzle, but just talk about the puzzle. I took the moment to talk about the puzzles as a whole in this game. Because that that was actually a good example of one, one that was being done well. Like, here's a weird problem. What's, what's the, the solution? What's going on? Who knows? That was mean how they murdered me. <laughs> Getting some surprise deaths. I'm apparently going to want to quick save constantly on this floor. Because they're just going to randomly throw me off a cliff and kill me. Like, no real warning.
Am I supposed to see which chunks of the floor are trap doors or not? Seems like they all are. Oh, well, that's how you die. Oh, weird. He sounds like he falls for a long time, but the spikes are right there. So it would appear that you can come and go as you please until you walk up to the actual exit you're trying to use. Then the moment you go there, you fall. Here's an idea. The trap doors have an orientation to them that keeps changing. Maybe I follow it? Uh... Ambiguity. This is not encouraging. Oops. This is probably not it. I think they're just alternating. Yeah, they're just alternating. That's no there's no pattern. Or there is a pattern, but it's not a path. Is there like a pressure plate around here? This is the only enclosed part of the room, right? I think so. If only our character could grab onto these gratings to not fall in the hole. <laughs> so how does a character like our protagonist canonically survive this kind of trap? If not via some sort of magical re uh, respawning save load me mechanic. Like, you just get locked in here. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if there's a clue? I'm gonna say let's leave. Go check out other stuff. See if I can find a clue elsewhere that hints at something. Five by five, almost five by five. I'm curious to see if there's like anything that could be seen as a clue. The entrances and exits are in the right places. I don't think they're directly comparable. Oh well. Yeah, I was thinking maybe the the neighboring room would be like an analog I could look at. I may need to move on for now and leave that as a question mark. And I've got two loose ends to figure out. One is the weird room that falls, that drops you to your death. And the other one is the, uh... Combination. Combination lock... Poison... Room... Thing? I don't see a lock. All right, I don't see a keyhole. So I think this opens from the other side. I need a key. They'll only have fumium, not silver. We're gonna have to do some real backtracking then. I have not been down to you. Oh, poison probably kills you. Like on the spot. No keyholes. Let's test it, huh? Whoa, it kills you fast. So don't play in the poison. That's somehow only over there and not coming over here. I guess we have to turn on the fans to filter it out. That's poison. Also a blocked path. Pretty much narrows it down to these options. And that's a blocked path also. There's a hole. Maybe I can push a block into it. Like that one? Or that one? 
Ah. Another requirement. These don't have handles on them. You're limited to where you can push these because they don't have handles on them, so you can't pull them. It can't go that way. I'm just gonna try pushing it down the hall to put it put it in that hole. Can't just push it against it. Oh no, it's already against it. <laughs> There we go. Those those segments are slightly weird. Like, they could let it be kind of a puzzle if they put handles on it, so you at least would have to figure out how to manipulate it correctly. But instead, there's these pipes everywhere, so I think you can't do anything besides the solution. Like, I couldn't push it that way, because there's a pipe in the way. But, like, the old, the uh, solution that puts it in front of the steam is like the, is, like, the only possible input, I think. Which is slightly weird. Superior servo booster. What? No. Weird double click accident. Thirty-five forty. Forty fifty. So it lasts five seconds longer, gives you ten percent extra melee speed. But of course costs more and whatnot. I think I'll continue with my usual trend. They're making it more and more tempting. The new gloves have 30% integrity, but the old ones have 10% resistance. And that's about it, actually, because I'm not using that crowbar. But that 10% resistance... Ah. Not entirely decisive on that one. There she is, my dear Sophie. My little fragile girl in a steel cage infused by Fumium. This isn't how I imagined her fifth birthday would be. It breaks my heart to see her ignore the candles on her cake that she should be blowing out, all excited. Instead, she's staring at a Fumaton that's about to cut the cake for her. I feel the environment hinders her natural mental growth. The Bureau releases most families with newborns from duty, but our agreement with them, Laura's and mine, will last for another year. Our positions here are too important for them to replace us or even give us temporary leave. Sophie's different from the other children I remember from the islands or my own childhood. No kid has ever spent their entire, albeit short, life in a mechanical colossus like this. And I suspect Fumium will play some role as well. We still don't quite understand its properties or influence on humans. Laura's waist deep in Fumium research, exposed to it day and night. She's becoming colder and colder towards our little girl. Still, Sophie doesn't seem to care too much. She's always with her. They can spend hours in each other's company without ever even saying a word. Do they have like a psychic bond of some kind? What's going on here? Long time spent around each other, never speaking. He seems to not interact with her environment and just sit there. She could be undeveloped, or she could be, like, hyperdeveloped. Oh, God. What the f- You just gonna show up like that, dude? I have- What? We waited how long for this dude to show up, and he's just here? Like, I like, psych, I'm flanking you. Enjoy. We also have confirmation that our wife was, like, making zombies out of people. Kind of. There's just nothing is really looking great regarding her. Oh, hi. You're still here. I think he was giving them energy shielding or something. I think that might be the implication of, like, the weird everyone being blue. 
It's likely that the, the, the summoner looking dude showing up is like some kind of weird buff. Dude, I don't even care if he makes you dizzy. I will keep doing this. It's effective as hell. It's just refreshing to be able to fight one of these guys in melee for once. Instead of slowly shooting it from far away. There we go. Take all your monies. They belong to me now. Switch. Do I hear walking? I feel like I hear walking, but it could also just be the sound that the Fumium makes. It has, an, it has a seemingly, like, intentionally vague sound to it. Where it sounds like a bunch of different things at once. It sounds like footsteps, and wind, and whispering, and stuff like that. Is that a pressure plate? Yes, it is. Am I, am I gonna die? What's gonna happen here? Oh. Step on this, and then the light tries to get to this, but there's a gate in the way, so I need to open the gate from somewhere. There's a wooden platform over there. There we go. Oops. And we're good. Ooh. I'm to the side of the poison area. Maybe I can open these up. It seems to be thinning the gas out, but I'm not sure it's safe yet. I'm gonna need to switch more fans on. <laughs> it literally clears the poison out of that one square. That's that's really funny. I'm tempted after this is over, probably not right after this over is over, but like as a long-term goal. Uh, much like how I talk about playing the Dragon Age games, the old ones, and uh, the original Witchers and stuff like that. I think I want to play the Eye of the Beholder at some point. Hopefully it still is playable. It's an old PC game, though, and oftentimes old PC games are actually sometimes the easier ones to get to work. As opposed to some of the older console ones. Or at least the ones that are sufficiently old enough. Like, there's a specific era of the 90s, like Mist and stuff like that, where it gets hard to make old games run. And you have to really go through some irritating loops. But really old stuff? Uh... Like the the especially old stuff is so is often, is often so low re resource that you can just brute force past any of the weird technical problems sometimes, but I don't know. This is clearly a door, and it opens via something. There's no keyholes. We seem to have the only secret on this floor, but maybe I'm wrong about that. This should just open this door. Yep. Find somewhere else to check out, I guess. That's the poison room, so I can't go through there. Oh, still a chamber up there I haven't tried, near the beginning. It recloses the door. Oh, hang on. Nope. I thought that maybe when that thing... When, the, when that button switches it back and forth, and that might lead to a situation where, like, the other door opens. I was wrong. We need to find our way into the poison room. Could there be a clue in the room itself? Like, part of me wonders if the positioning of the debris might somehow match up with the other stuff. Oh, hey, it actually opens. It looks like debris is on every tile. I was thinking maybe you press the buttons based on the amount of debris, which would make zero sense. Uh, if uh, outside of the, the context of just being a magical puzzle in a video game. I need a key. Well, I've got you. Hi, how do you do? Could you die, please? 
Okay, now I'm trapped. That's bad. There we go. Well, I guess you guys are just a normal enemy that happens now, huh? Huh. That was, like, unceremonious, how he just showed up. After all, after a bit of hype. With his previous bizarre encounter. Ding! And then one more tech. Just like that. I feel like we just got the second drainer and I'm already on superior, which is how I felt about the other superiors I found, too. I feel like we trans transferred from advanced to superior weirdly quickly. So 60 damage, 150 versus 225 restoration. That's a, that's a big heal. Obviously getting more and more expensive. Like, very expensive. But great. I'll go for it. Because I don't want to I don't want to be spamming uh, drain over and over again like I was at the beginning. I kept using the first drain a lot. I don't really want that to happen. I want to use drain like once per fight at most, maybe. As like an emergency heal, like, oh man, I need to heal. Not like a constant maintenance thing. But the fact that I heal when I kill things now kind of undoes the need for that, too. Confuser, force. And then be in front of you to fight for you for a time period, direct damage. Uh, dealing direct damage to the target will reset, reset their behavior. So you can mind control an enemy for 10 seconds. A neat trick. That's a neat idea. Did I not equip that? Nope. Whoops. Yeah, at this point I maxed out both spellcasting things. I can just keep going down armor, I guess. Unless I want to go down blunt. Let's max out armor, because I'm already up here. Let's see. 60% integrity and 30% resistance. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Emergency braces. When a major breach, bre when a major breach is detected, the emergency system releases a stiffening agent to stem the leak of power, restoring the integrity. It takes considerable time before the system can reactivate. Those are huge. The upgrades you get from the armorer tree are like gargantuan. <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to imagine what it's like to be, like, specializing in, in uh, the defensive armor set and then going down this tree. Like, how ridiculously hard to kill you might be. The only problem is you need some kind of life leech ability. So I guess you'd probably bring uh, the superior drainer with you, or whatever drainer version you have, as, like, one of your main gadgets in that build. And, uh... Because you'd, you'd, you wouldn't want to be eating through your repair kit constantly. Which is the, uh, the the downside of having so much health. So on top of having tons of integrity, I can add even more integrity and resistance, which is super tempting because it makes me super hard to kill. Or I can make it so that if I ever go low on health, I'm just going to automatically restore half of my health every two minutes. That's huge. That's a genuinely hard choice because they're both really good, but 30% resistance is really tempting to me. My resistance is already 25%. If I get up to 55%, like, I'm getting rid of half the damage of all elemental attacks. While also having tons of health. And getting tons of health is good because 70% uh, of my maximum health is restored every time I kill. So the more maximum health I have, the more effective that heal gets. So I'd probably go with Fumium Armature. Even though the emergency brace is, ex is exciting. Because it's like a thing that triggers whenever you're uh, low on health to restore your health again for... Jeez. 10% health per second for 5 seconds is so much. But I think I'd go with the armature. As much as I kind of don't want to. <laughs> and, so I'm at 1254 and... 1395. But the next point's the exciting one. Now the question is, will, that, will I get that point by leveling up? Or will I get that point by actually finding another point lying around? Because that's what I hope for.